We can all agree that Microsoft had a great showcase this year. When we look at what the industry is saying, what fans are saying, they all agree, all the polls agree that Microsoft showcase was the best in 2023. What that showcase did was reinvigorated the community and gave the community confidence that the Xbox platform has a bright future. That being said, we are seeing that Microsoft and Xbox in extension is looking to have its biggest quarter ever. Let's see why. This is Island Gaming with Jay and let's talk about Microsoft is setting up for a very big quarter. Let's get it. One of the big takeaways from this year's Microsoft Showcase is that, you know, Starfield stole the show. Everyone was excited and hyped after seeing that extended play of Starfield. So much so that people started to buy out the uh, Series X in France and in many other regions. Yes, Starfield will be a very big game. We know that is why Sony was planning to, you know, make Starfield exclusive. Um, that was prior to Microsoft purchasing Bethesda. However, Microsoft said they won't be having any of that and basically stole Sony's lunch money. Hence the reason Starfield is coming exclusive to the Xbox platform or anywhere that has Game Pass. Now, what we are seeing here is a perfect storm that is about to brew. We are seeing the media is excited for Starfield. We are seeing fans of Bethesda is being excited for Starfield. We are even seeing some persons are crossing the aisle, leaving the PlayStation and have no problem coming over to play Starfield. So Starfield um, you know, is poised being one of the biggest titles of the year. Now, how would Microsoft capitalize on this? Well, they did something very smart. Take a look at what they announced. When it comes to our consoles, we have heard your feedback on two fronts. First, we have significantly increased our supply of Xbox Series X, making it easier for fans to find globally. Second, we know you've wanted more storage with Xbox Series S, and I'm excited to share we have some news there as well. So it's very clear that Microsoft thought this out. They knew that, uh, you know, Safi would be a very big game, so that is why they decided to launch a brand new series s this time with a one terabyte um, memory in it in addition to that they significantly increased the production of the series x because they knew consoles would sell for starfield now think about the alternative if it is you don't purchase a series s or a series x you would have to play starfield on a pc and jumping in into PC is not an easy thing because of the price. Take a look at the minimum uh, specs for playing Starfield and the price for these minimum specs. According to PC Gamer, they are reporting that for one, the minimum requirements over on the Xbox sites note that you will need an AMD Radeon RX 5700 and also a GTX 1070 Ti to run Starfield. Now, look at the price of those two items. So a used RX 5700 will run you 240 US and the price of a 1070 Ti would run you just a little under, uh, let's say 800 US dollars. So that's round off uh, just those two components of your computer to be a thousand dollars. So it makes sense, it makes financial sense from any game apart that if they want to play Starfield, I mean the entry is so appealing, $350. You don't have to worry about memory like the Xbox Series S original version. 
because this new Xbox Series S has one terabyte. So Microsoft is set in addition to that. We also saw Microsoft raise Game Pass by one or two dollars. I don't think anyone would be uh, unsubscribing to Game Pass in the next coming two months because Starfield is coming out and they are also Forza Motorsport and so and so forth. So Microsoft was a very strategic to come out with a console at 350 uh, US in addition to raising the price of Game Pass knowing fully well that persons will not be unsubscribing to Game Pass anytime soon because of Starfield. So because of these components guys, Microsoft would be making a record-breaking quarter. Now, what, does, what benefit is this to you? Well, the more Microsoft see the impact of exclusives is the more they would invest in it and the more exclusives we will be getting in Game Pass. So we all win when it comes to this move by Microsoft. So let me hear what you think about it. Do you think that this is a good move here by Microsoft? Do you think that here what? Um, Microsoft should not have come out with this new Series S. What are your thoughts on this matter? Let me hear about it in the comment sections below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more videos and more content like this. I'll see you in the next one. Later.